on this auspicious occasion of the 5th International Festival of Yoga, Culture and Spirituality, I would ask everyone to start with the recitation of the Gayatri Mantra. Gayatri is the divine power that persuades us to take the right path in the life. And right path means the path of wisdom, the path of pure intellect. And she could be reached with this piece of Vedic Mantra. So I would request everyone to sit erect and feel that with the recitation of each word of this mantra, the power, the energy of the rising sun is passing through us as an act of total purification. Gayatri Mantra, Sat Sat, Kamar Siddhi Kar Le, Bhagwan Surya Ka Dhyan Kare. Om Bhur Bhuva Swav Tat Savetur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodaya in the subtle presence of Pooj Gurudev and Vandaniya Mataji, I would like to start by greeting those seated on the dais on this very special, auspicious occasion of the inauguration of the International Festival. Honorable Chief Guest of the event, Shri Pad Naik Ji, he had a very exhausting, long journey. He was supposed to arrive to us at 11 o'clock this morning and unfortunately he was detoured. So it took him very long time but in spite of that, you know, he managed to come to us and we are most thankful to him for his presence here today. Honorable Chief Guest, Shri Shripad Naik Ji, Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Honorable Registrar, all the distinguished dignitaries who are present on the dais and off the dais. And I'm, I'm sure that they would excuse me, uh, they would accept my apology because they all are so dear to me, they all are so close to our heart that it would be a challenge to name all of them. I would not be able to name all of you, but all of you are so close to us. All the dignities who are present on the dais, off the dais, all the delegates who are present from different parts of the world. Shanti Kunj, Gayatri Parivar, Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyale Parivar members, and most precious of them all, uh, the students of Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyale. First of all, on behalf of Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyale and Shanti Kunj Gayatri Parivar family, I would like to welcome all the delegates, all the speakers, all the participants who have traveled from distant parts of the world to be with us today here in Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyale Shanti Kunj Haridwar. This is their family. This is their home. And I can repeat this hundred times, thousand times, million times, because I know for sure that the founder of this great organization of Gayatri Parivar of 110 million members, he never wanted to call this institution as an organization. He wanted to call this as a Parivar. He wanted to call this as a family. And we are a family. We are a family united with the threads of love, affection and respect for all of you who have taken great pains to reach to us. So once again, with a warm welcome to all our extended family members from both sides of the ocean, I would like to start by introducing the concept and vision behind this festival. You know, everyone asked this question to us that why did we start with International Festival of Yoga, Culture and Spirituality? What was the vision behind it? But before I would share the vision, before I would share the idea that Honorable Chancellor had in his mind when five years ago he started this journey, I would like to share an incident that happened to me when I was 17 or 18 years old. I remember that when I was 17, there were communal rights in a city close to us called Dehradun. And we happened to be in that particular part of the city on that particular day to collect our certificates. We were 17, you know, we found ourselves stuck in between raging community on one hand, police on the other, frightened for our lives, we started to run. No sense of direction. Somehow, we managed to find a shelter and it stayed there until chaos subsided. And I can tell you, then only we realized that among five of us, there were three different religions. Fear was the only force driving us. Compassion was the only religion binding us in that particular moment. And the reason I shared that story with you, because what I feared that day, we now fear the same for the fate of humanity. When everyone is asking the same question, that how on earth we can allow religion which is such a profound experience for mankind to get poisoned with hatred, intolerance and violence. What happened last month on the soils of Europe is a shocking reminder 
that we should not allow humanity to walk on that path. If we are walking on that path, then our future generations are doomed, my dear friends. They are absolutely cursed. They are jinxed. We need to change it because we are allowing the history to be written with the words that are soaked in the deluge of blood. We are allowing history to be written where every word is to be followed by wails of orphans and tears of widows. We should not allow that to happen. This is a travesty. This is a tragedy. And I can tell you, the only solution to such a travesty lies in the fundamental qualities of humanity. It lies in the essence of spirituality and that is why we have got this festival of yoga and spirituality in this premise of culture. Because with this festival, we aim, we aim to create, we aim to share our shared values and love and affection that could bind us together, that could connect us together beyond the religion, across the oceans, above the, above the boundaries. This is what we aim to create. This is what Honorable Chancellor thought. He thought that we should have a festival that should belong to every person. Ayam nijaha paroviti ganana laguche sam udara charita namdu vasudhev kutumbakam. This is what we say in Sanskrit. That you know, this is mine, that is yours, this is a game of children. They can play for their toy. Ye aapka hai, mera iske liye bachche ladai jhagda kar sakte hain. But we are grown up people. We are matured. For us, every single person on this planet belongs to our family. World is one family. And that is the vision of this festival. The vision of this festival is to create a family beyond religion, beyond a nation, beyond boundaries, beyond prejudices. This is the vision of this festival. And as far as the concept is concerned, you know, you would ask that why we have got yoga, culture and spirituality together. And yoga, as you know, is an ancient Indian science that centers around refinement of the human consciousness. And that cannot happen without total transformation of the human personality. And when we have got the total transformation of human personality at the level of individual, it is a spirituality. When we have got the total transformation at the level of society, it is culture. And that is why we have got yoga, culture, spirituality as three pillars of this festival. And there is another reason. There is another reason that Pujya Gurudev said that there are three steps for total purification. There are three steps for total transformation. Swastha Sharir, which means healthy body, to be achieved with the help of yogasans. Swachman, clarity of mind. To, to be achieved with the help of spiritual practices and sabhi samaj, civilized society, to be achieved by following a path of culture. And when we have got all three together, then we have got this festival. We have got the festival of yoga, culture and spirituality. That is the vision, that is the concept, that is the goal, that is the aim of this festival. So in coming four days, you would get the chance to hear some of the remarkable personas, some of the remarkable personalities from all over the world. There are people who are renowned authors, there are people who are renowned doctors, there are people who are renowned clinicians, and I'm really looking forward to listening to their views in coming four days, and I'm sure that all of you are all also looking forward to that moment. So I would end by saying that this festival is not only a pillar to bind yoga, culture, and spirituality together, but it is also a fitting tribute to two legendary souls in India, Mahatma Gandhi, that is his birthday tomorrow, and Lal Bahadur Shastri. Lal Bahadur Shastri was the greatest Prime Minister India ever had. You know, he was the master of social servantry and it is his birthday tomorrow. So this festival is also a fitting tribute to two, these legendary souls as well as to Pooja Gurudev who was a living embodiment of yoga, culture and spirituality. So I will end now. I will end by quoting the hope that Pooja Gurudev had from this kind of festival. He thought that with these kind of festivals, we would be able to create a family. We would be able to create a new world, a new order, and to share what he thought this, this sort of festival should accomplish, I would like to quote a poem of John Lennon. You know, in his famous poem, John Lennon, he said, imagine, imagine there are no countries. Imagine there are no countries. It isn't hard to do. Kalpana karke dekhi ki dunia mein koi desh nahi hai. Kalpana karne mein koi paisa nahi lagta. Imagine there are no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for and no religion to. Kisi cheez ke liye lardne marne ke awashakta nahi hai, koi dharm bhi nahi. Kalpna karke dekhi ki dunia mein koi desh nahi hai, hum loog kisi dharm ko belong nahi karte, kisi desh ko belong nahi karte. Imagine there are no countries, it isn't hard to do. Imagine all the people living in this world together. Imagine sab ke sab ek saath rahe rahe hai. And I wonder if you can. He said, I wonder if you can. Kalpna karke dekhi ki kya aisa ho sakta hai. And you would say I'm a dreamer. Aap log kahenge ki shayad mein sapna dekh raha hoon. You would say I'm a dreamer and I would say I'm not the only one. I hope that one day you will join us and world will be as one. Thank you.